Whoop 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 review. Woohoo! Hey guys, it's Cable Steve here, and today I'm doing a review of Miss A's Only You. If you haven't checked out my reaction yet, go check it out here, click now, yeah. I, want, I wanted to try to start off doing a reaction and reviewing two separate videos for a while, because I talk so much, and it makes my, re my reaction videos way too long, so in this video I can talk as much as I can. If you like or dislike this format, comment down in the comments below, because I want feedback from you guys, because I want to know if you like something or if you don't like something, because ultimately I'm making videos for you, so comment down below your opinion. But anyway, this is my first one for a while. I used to do like two different videos. I, I think I only did it for two music videos. But um, yeah, let's go. Boom. Okay, so the song. The song has it's kind of it's kind of a mixed bag. It has strange brass sounds in it. A lot of the time, there's very strange brass sounds. At first, I felt these were like awkward and they were like they sound like a kazoo to be honest with you. However. I realize it changes up because a lot of happy songs just have like simps in it like say infinites or vixes or got sevens or I can't think of any girl group examples right now but a lot of them are just simps or piano and it kind of just makes it up by having this trombone and i guess amber did it recently with shake that brass so i guess using brass is the new thing now and the chorus was very repetitive i'm not going to use the c word here it was repetitive in a good and bad way it was repetitive as in it got you in it got you listening to it over and over again and that's the bit where it kind of hooked me I guess because it is the hook of the song that's the bit what hooked me however I feel like the song is very reliant on that because versus the way they're good like the NG goes up way higher with the chorus and then it feels like oh the song is just the chorus because we hear like more, like I think like three times and the fact it's repeated over and over in like the little bit where the little kind of turn up bit where the same lyrics are repeated so it seems like those lyrics kind of hold the song together but that's not particularly a bad thing but I'm just I don't you know it should I, w I hope it varied it up a bit more I guess I felt that the same with Got 7's A and how the song relied so much on just those choruses and overall yes as I said it is repetitive but it does get in your head so it's not a bad thing at all the vocals are very very good and they suit well for the song they have the kind of swag singing to it a lot of time like say Gia and Mindu they they work very well however overall the song in my opinion is good but it doesn't sound like a title track it definitely sounds like say like the third track on the album or maybe the fourth one where they get a bit happier and get a bit more joyful that's what it sounds like to me rather than a title track so Mm, I don't know if I'm gonna like this over the other tracks because the other tracks have been so great It'll probably keep me busy for like a couple of weeks or so until I realize that I'm getting bored of it and how repetitive it is And now to review the music video This is what I kind of wanted to do these reviews for was for the music video because I study film at uni Now we can get nice and in-depth. So if you guys like it awesome I'm probably talking to two people right now. Hey, how's it going? I hope you had have a nice day the room transitions were very smooth, cutting from Min to Susie to Faye. I thought that was very smooth, and I liked how they did that, because it made you feel like you were actually traveling around the room and like talking to each member. I really liked that a lot. And the transitions throughout were very good. Like the transitions at the street scene as well looked good. How it switched from uh, Gia to Susie to Faye. That worked very well. I, the camera work on that was probably my favorite part of the music video actually. Because it was very flawless in both scenes. How they moved from the last person singing in the verse to the chorus and how the chorus it, they like started walking and then they started dancing I thought that worked very well and how they like threw whatever they were wearing off and started dancing I thought those transitions were very smooth however the really annoying thing was the stalker concept and how the stalker looking through the binoculars was like the big thing how in the teaser that was built up and at the beginning showing the b-roll of like all those buildings and how I think it's at 1 minute 32 where they're showing the dance the chorus dance through the, the binoculars and all of that is built up and then it has nothing to do with a music video as I said 1 minute 32 is where it stops it's never shown again the guy isn't shown again it's not like he's shown at a party that he noticed them and got lucky with them because the song's about oh I'm doing this for you boy the stalker concept isn't related to the video at all like at, it it could be related to the song, but then the director just thought, nah, let's not follow up on it. And I was like, you could even have the guy at the party and one of them like says hi to him. Like, I wish they followed up on that concept, because I think that concept of stalker is quite interesting in a music video, because obviously he's just stalking on being casual, but then maybe when he sees them, like, I have so many cool ideas for that. But then they just like, you let it die, and it was all built up as this guy looking through binoculars. When the second half of the chorus dropped, it's him looking through the binoculars. So I was very disappointed in that. Gia was very awkward on the street, like her gestures were very awkward and then when she was like, peel the hair and like bent down, I was like, oh. I felt that was very, very forced. 
compared to Susie, who went up next and was very flawless. Like, she was walking around being a bit cute and being like this, blah, 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 as you can see. However, it was much more natural. Maybe it's due to her more acting experience, but yeah, Gia was very awkward there, which is annoying because all the other members seemed much more you know, calm, I guess, and weren't trying to force, like, bending over and stuff. Obviously, yeah, that was the director's decision, and, yeah, he shouldn't have done that. <laughs> the street looked very set-like, and it looked fine, but it looked like a set, and I guess it would have to be a set. It felt very manufactured, not just because actors were there, but because the buildings looked like they were made out of cardboard and stuff. I don't know if that is a real street, who knows, but I would like to visit there because it looks extremely fake, and I found it very interesting. It didn't give that same authenticity as, say, GOT7's A did. I'm, I keep comparing it, but... Um, got 7's A when they did it in front of buildings, it felt much more authentic, but this it felt kind of like a fake street. And in regards to the story, suddenly they're at a party, and that makes no sense at all in regards to the stalker thing. So the story, there was no story, it was given up. They should have just not bothered at all, and they should have just had more shots of the girls in the bedroom, and just how, you could even have it so they're getting ready for a party, and how like, you know, they're getting dressed, then, um, then going out, and then they're actually going to a party. That would have been better, because, yeah, then you could just be like, oh, they're trying to impress a boy, and maybe have shots, like, looking at a boy, but don't, like, start a story and then just give up, because that's kind of what happened. And also, one thing I noticed a lot was the lighting changes at the party. I'll try and put clips up now, but although at a party you would expect there to be different bright colour lights, there was a lot of shots where the actual kind of light and the white balance changed, so their skin colour looked different, so there was a lot of shots which are much brighter and a lot of shots which are much darker and yeah it made it look like it was a different party or like the shots which were much brighter it made it seem like someone's parents came in turned all the lights on and started telling people to get out so some of the lighting was bad like the darker shots would have worked much better and obviously i can see that they wanted to show the girls but the light the bright lighting wasn't really suitable for that kind of setting if they committed to one or the other i wouldn't have minded but the fact they kept changing was bad and like even flashing lights or different color lights would be fine but in the example you know, hopefully in the examples you can see it made it seem like it was in a different place which which I thought looked very, uh, I guess, awkward. The girls looked great. The girls looked absolutely great, and I like the styling in this music video a lot. It's probably my favourite part of it. The casual clothes were nice. Obviously, Gia's bum was very uh, nice to look at, and all the girls looked uh, great. Like Min with like the roll-ups, like roll-ups. <laughs> She's not doing drugs. Like Min with like hair rolled up. I thought that was like nice, uh, like casual. Yeah, they looked genuinely casual. But then the pink costumes, I'm not too sure, and they were a bit too like bright for me. I guess the music video is supposed to be bright. They were a bit too bright for me. But I really did like the street costumes, the more casual ones. I thought they were cool. Oh, especially like face costume was very nice, and Susie looked good. And I also like the blue costumes a lot. They were a bit sexier ones where they were showing a bit more, I guess, skin. But the only problem I had with that is, is the Min cleavage cuts and how Min was showing cleavage um, at the wide shots. And I was like, oh, she's showing cleavage. And then, like her boobs were bouncing. I was like, yo, shout out to those boobs. When you got closer, like the, it was covered up and everyone else's outfits were the same except her cleavage was suddenly covered up. And it's like, either commit or don't. If she didn't show cleavage at first and only um, Gia showed cleavage, yeah, whatever, I wouldn't have minded. But the fact it looks very um, awkward, like from a director's point of view, that's a cleavage and then close and then cut closer and then the cleavage is gone. It's like, you're just teasing me, man. You're just teasing me. And in regards to the dance, the dance theme song, it was energetic and fitted with the song very well. And it still had some sexiness with it, you know, with the boobies, boobies, boobies bit and the body rolls as well. Like, it had some sexiness to it. Like, it don't know if that fitted with the song at all. I guess, you know, they're a girl group. They have to show some body rolls and something for the guys to cheer over. So, yeah, the dance it seemed very fun. I'm excited to see the live stages. So, overall, I'm glad to see them having more fun. The music video was very fun. The song was fun. Everything was very fun. I like fun. The girls looked great. They were very pretty for our music video, and the styling was good. Like, Gia, who's not only known as the most visual member, she looked, she even looked really good as well, so I'm happy with that. There was no story, unfortunately. The story just lacked, and, well, it kind of appeared and then disappeared, which, I, which kind of annoyed me. And the song is fairly basic. Like, I like it, and it is catchy. Oh, I said the word catchy, but... It is quite a basic song for a group which hasn't come back in two years, which is kind of unfortunate. So more importantly, what did you guys think? Did you like um, Only You by Miss A? Um, did you like the song? Did you like music video? And also, what do you think of this format? Do you like this format where I can get kind of more in-depth? I prefer it because my, my talks after the music videos tend to suck, in my opinion. And I've seen that people kind of stop watching after my reaction, so I wanted the people who are actually interested... I wanted to give them a much more detailed review rather than just the crap review I give. So, like as you can see, I've watched the music video multiple times, and I can actually analyze it for um, for what it.
it is and I prefer doing that, I find it more enjoyable, although it's more work I like it, so if you like this, comment down below and if you don't, also comment, I want to know. But anyway, thanks for watching guys, um, like, comment and hit the subscribe button down below, wherever that is, and I'll talk to you guys later, peace, baby, 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 mmm, live costumes have cleavage. <laughs>